What's, What's up, guys? Game? It's Day of Crew. How y'all doing? So we apologize for not recording over a year. It's been a while. It's been a long while. <laughs> we have recorded a few things over the year. Because of COVID, obviously, we can't do certain things. And plans that we had last year totally got canceled. A lot of it. <laughs> And like abandoned places is one of our main things in this in our YouTube channel, and it hasn't gone too well. <laughs> we haven't been to an abandoned place in eight eight nine months. Like we have recorded a few things, but we didn't feel like it was video worthy. It was just the same usual place, the brewery, the quarry. Yeah, pretty much. There have been interesting moments, <laughs> but there wasn't enough footage, so we kind of just scrapped it. Yeah. But now, we're starting a new series. It's all about caves now. We're, there is how many caves in San Antonio? Around 500 plus. Okay. And I'm pretty sure most of all of them are covered up, um, but we do know of a few caves that we can get into, say, tomorrow. We're actually going tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah, so at, at the moment, it is 2.46 a.m. So, we started the whole caving because we started wanting to do repelling. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, I actually have pictures and videos on my phone, still, of us going to a lake in our town and repelling there. So, that was before we worked aviation. <laughs> yeah. So... We had ideas to record videos. We started aviation in March. Obviously, we quit for our own reasons, but mainly due to COVID. So yeah. So we only picked caving because there's not a lot of things left to do in town. And on top of that, we need to lose weight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, COVID has seriously uh, put a toll on us. But yeah. In general, it's just hard to find one that's not closed up. Like, the ones that we know work, like, the ones that we know that are caves, they're blocked off in some scenario. But there are certain circumstances that have happened that we're allowed to go in them. <laughs> so, we are starting the series, but in, by any means, protect these caves. And for the protection of these caves, we will also not be showing how, how we get in. in. So, of course, there are some caves that are obvious. We'll figure them out. But I actually want to try something. What? Whoever watches this video and enjoys it, comment. If you do happen to go in San Antonio, comment. You know, let's let's go explore a cave, and maybe we'll, you know, get together and go explore a cave. They're recording. Yeah. Right. So what's up, guys? This is AF Crew. I'm Caleb. The cameraman's Tim. Yes, sir. And we made it to our first major cave. I'll put my vision, but um, so yeah, we've been planning on going to this cave for over eight months. We didn't know how we were gonna do it. Even getting down was really scary. Yeah, very. <laughs> stopping. <laughs> and we had to get down here. As scary as it was to get down here. We're not going to show the entrance or the purpose of the safety of this cave. But if you do want to enter, just let us know. We'll be more than happy to take you. On the condition of the way we show you, you can't tell anybody else. Yeah. So, so. Yeah, we made it, and let's explore. I don't like that big boulder, bro. Look how gorgeous above looks. Huh? Dude, these are a lot of rocks that have fallen. Yeah. I don't like this path way down.
Yeah. Hey, let's point the camera. So we do know that at some given point in time, over the last 30 plus years, they blocked off the major chambers. So what we have, and there's probably a crawl space to get to it, but we have no idea. But what we can explore right now is what's available to us on our own risk, not <laughs> like knowledge and risk taking without the proper equipment to go down, you know, 30 plus feet um, deep holes. Dude, this is so scary. Look at this, guys. Yeah. Sorry, I'm still trying to learn how to use this thing. This looks like a thunderbolt coming up right here. I know. Guys, look at this. Oh, I guess I should say this. Try not to, I don't know, we're touching things to move around. I'm not touching anything. Look. Okay, there's people that have been down here. Uh, that's not nice. What the hell? Oh, that's a stick. I was like, look at that. Snake. You want to go continue? Make you sure that's not a bat. iPhone somewhat works closely. Okay. So I'm using my iPhone for steps. The lights are anything closer. Okay, we go so much more deep. Holy <laughs> Caleb, get down here. Bro. Holy <laughs> Guys, look at that. I don't see any bats. This is really weird. This is called the bat quantum room. If we are going the right way. Yeah, I don't know if we want to go down there. Why not? We're here anyways. What the f*** is that? I don't know if you can see that back there, guys. Oh, there's a passage going down here. I, I don't... See it's for animals. You want to go down? Yeah. All right, I'm going to have... What is that? Sculpture? Looks like a sculpture. To me, that looks like a face. Yeah, I know. Guys, look how massive face. this cave is, guys. This... Why is there no bats in here? Maybe it's too cold. I don't know if bats like, like cold-ass weather. How do you get down? I just looked right there. Good luck. I'm gonna get down from here. You sure so, you yeah, I need you to hold that. What's up, guys? I'm on camera, guy. Huh? <laughs> there we go. Are you okay? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, what is that over there? It's like a little shrine, bro. To be honest with you. Okay. I just don't know how to make it back up. <laughs> so is it smart for me to go down there? Yeah, definitely not. Well, do you see any passages? Let's see. That's what it's just about breaking my ankles. Underneath. To find underneath, like, can we walk in it or crawl? Oh. And there's a smaller hole here. Oh, so technically we could keep on going. Huh? Technically we could keep on going. But is it smart to go down there? <laughs> no, it's too tight and there's too many missed rocks like these. Like I almost busted my ass. Well, we there are like other potential passages, so. Can you shine the light down here? 
Oh, where do Kim? I set this down? <laughs> so we'll come back down here when we have proper equipment. Right now, because I'm going to focus my life for you guys. Not that way. Okay. So, down there, this is my light, by the way, guys. Down there, there's a big hole. Not necessarily big, narrow at first, but it looks like it opens up. But yeah, you ready to go back up? What? Oh, that's cool. I'm not walking. That's a passage there. Ain't no way in hell I'm walking that. Kid, okay, I almost died right here. I almost died. <laughs> So we can show you a map. We're gonna cover the name. So there's no possible chance of like. I know, I know this sucks anywhere. to say, but you know, this is technically federal property. And plus this is a part, like this is part of our drinking water system. So the aquifer, when it rains, it goes on to these caves. And I'm sure there's, if you look very closely, there's certain rocks that has a lot of holes in it. Those filter the water, goes further down in the ground, yeah. and then feeds the aquifer for us to drink here in San Antonio, as well as Austin, Kerrville, stuff like that. You want to go back up and talk about the rest? Okay. One last look for the viewers. All right, so for the purpose of this, we may accidentally show the entrance, but we're gonna have to blur everything from the rocks up, so. Yeah. yeah. All right, we're gonna start making our way up. Yeah. Say peace out. All right, peace out. <laughs> All right, well, we made it out. We out. <laughs> <laughs> it was scary as You know what the funniest, the funniest thing is, all right? We're going down and on our way up, we finally get up, right? And after Caleb freaks out, he goes, you know I'm scared of heights, right? I was like, what the <laughs> You know how scary that is? <sighs> awesome. This was a learning experience despite us being only down there for 10, 15 minutes, roughly. And y'all saw me bust my ass and almost die, uh, so. <laughs> so we know to come back with at least like a rope mechanism. And then an extra person. Here, yeah. And then make a path going down. And not only that, like a rappelling line as well that we have, you know, to pull ourselves up because whenever Caleb was getting up, because I, I almost slipped down, back down, all the way down. Um, so when Caleb was coming up, I had to gra I grabbed his arm and we were pulling him up because, dude, it was it was horrible. <laughs> going down was a lot better than going back up. So we are going to continue this video throughout the day, but for the first time in like three decades san antonio will have snow for like three, dude what if we go days. dude what if we go to a cave when it's snowing that would be cool all the weather that we're experiencing right now in san antonio um it's never happened normal <laughs> yeah never happened um we don't know we'll continue this video in mud creek and we'll see what we can do continuing throughout the day thanks guys as you can see caleb is pooped <laughs> look at him look how ugly he is <laughs> <laughs> okay, we returned from exploring caves. Unfortunately, we did not successfully try uh, Mud Creek because we uh, 
other reasons. reasons. Yeah. yeah. Um, one of the biggest concerns we had was um, the cave being too narrow. I don't know. You'll probably see a clip in this video of what we're talking about. I'm feeling water. That's fine. But not out of your drinking thing. Um, but it, it, it's just so narrow. Like, our ladder is this thick, right? And I am about this thick. <laughs> so that, and then the hole is probably about this thick. So you gotta like shimmy your way down. I don't know about Caleb, but I do. And, and uh, it, it's just another mess after you're worn out from exploring yeah. the other cave. And uh, we want to say that we are trying to find other caves. Again, if you try to do this yourself, just be very cautious as these caves house animals, um, endangered species, stuff like that. And it is our Insects. filter. Yeah, whatever. And it is the filter for our water, for drinking water for San Antonio, as well as the uh, counties around us. So. so be careful what you put in it. Be careful what you leave behind. But yeah, so we're here at our makeshift studio right now. Um, this is, I guess, where we're going to be filming for a little while. Yeah, intros, outros, or any portions in the video that we have to do. Nice, comfy leather chair style. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, yeah, no, that's... Really, it. Um, we're so, going to be focusing on this uh, series, the cavern series, because, like we said earlier, abandoned places, everything kind of just died down. And well, we pretty much hit them all in San Antonio. That we know of. Like I said, our main focus is on the cavern. We do want to invest into all of our equipment, not only caving equipment, but new camera equipment, as you can see. We've been filming with this gimbal with our phones, and we think it's good. It probably looks like crap on YouTube, though. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, it's the best we got right now with our phones, so. Yeah. So, our cash app's going to be cash sign AF crew. Um, if you feel welcome to donate um, to help us out, you know, with our future journey with YouTube, uh, that'd be greatly appreciated. That's going to be it for this video. We hope that you enjoyed it, or at least liked it. <laughs> so if you, if you want to see more of what we do, um, drop a drop a like, uh, leave a comment of what you want to see next, and subscribe. Give us that support, you know? We work hard on these videos. Um, provide, just show how awesome the experience is that we can, we're able to share with y'all. And it, it feels awesome to do. Right, this is the AF Crew signing out. Peace. Peace.